All right, this is called the fusion gun. This is your mixing chamber. These two little holes line up inside these guys. Okay. That makes a seal against the mixing chamber. Okay. When the gun is activated, the mixing chamber is going to get sucked back in, those holes will line up, and the material goes out. All right? So this is something you've got to keep an eye on. If something's clogged, then it's, that's the first, one of the first things that we should check on those little... The gun. I mean, these little yeah, holes. Yeah, right. You said you had a little drill bit stuff? So. Yep. Yep. Okay. Come in this way. Come in this way. He's going to give you a brake spray. So you can spray, you know, this way or that way. He's going to have a, a line hooked up for air with a blow gun. It's right here, right here. Okay. Already hooked up. This will be on your, your spray, so you'll a, have a... I'll get one of those blowers okay. to go in it. It'll be right. right on here. It's already hooked on to it just as you were using it. Okay, okay so that's already here for you. Okay. So that hose there is going to be set off to the side and only used for... Yeah, just blowing out the gun. Yeah. Blowing yeah. out the blowing gun, out the cleaning gun, things off. You hit the crap when you blow yourself off. I mean, okay. it's just a blow But this gun. will be a separate that's all... It's nothing to do really with the machine. It's just more for no. maintenance. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah, just so you know. It was just a good idea to put it there. And the mixing chamber... Turn off tires. There you go. It's going to fit in <laughs> just like that. That's not a bad idea. This piece goes in and out. Is that going to have to be lubed with that fusion lube too? Mm -hmm. or? Mm -hmm. Is it safe to say any part that should be lubed up? Any moving part should be lubed. <clears throat> the moving parts in the back are not being subjected to materials, so they should stay fairly clean. Okay? And the housing goes on. That's on a daily basis we'll be checking it like that? Or? I would. Okay. I would. Break it tells you you don't have to? I would. Chip, just to make sure that they understand, you know, can you give them just a little bit of your background in spring because he, he came he comes from a major came from a major company that did a lot of spring. Maybe you can let him know because that gives you a lot of you know credibility. Credibility, absolutely. I mean I worked at uh, US United States roofing out of Philadelphia uh, twenty five years. I was their head mechanic. And uh, we had five of these sprayers. So you guys are getting the benefit of my learning curve. <laughs> um, like I said, nine times out of ten when there's an issue, it's going to be the gun. It's going to be human error, or it's going to be material in the A side that's going to clog up the hose, clog up the gun. And the best way you're going to know that is when you're spraying and everything's working properly, you will see the color of the mix. And it's going to be, you know, rising up. You get, okay? If it gets too light of a color, you're getting more of the green drum and less of the black drum. This is a darker substance. Plus, your gauges on the machine are going to go out of whack. Because the pump's trying to pump through, it's going to hit a clog, and the pressure is going to start building higher than the other side. And you'll see it on the gauges. And I'll tell you which side you have a problem with. Usually, it'll be the A side. All right? Just so they're not scared to death on this. Yeah, we just passed that not too long ago on the desk. <laughs> yeah. The aspect of, of this stuff in here, I mean, I mean, is it common that you're going to have a problem daily? or, or is it no, not, not at all. You know? so the whole thing to this is monitoring, keeping an eye on your pressures, getting to know what the mix, the color of it looks like, and how it's reacting. Um, there are telltale signs, and, and they're pretty much it. The guy who's keeping an eye on this, have to stand there for eight hours and stare at it. You can go do something else. Every 10 to 15 minutes, take a walk by. Take a look at your pressure gauges. If everything's okay, go do something else. Fuck, I can't be shit. But they should be relatively the same on the pressure. <laughs> yeah, all time. Because what you want, you want a one to one ratio. You're right. producing an adhesive. So you want a one to one ratio. And if the pressures get out of whack, you start losing that one to one. Right. It will still work, it's not your optimum mix. Now, do these things have to be dead on? I no, mean, they're not going to be. Your material in the green drum is a thicker material. It's thicker than the, than the, uh, the exocyanate is. So this is going to be easier to pump. So you're going to get more of this than you will of that, to a degree. 
The only way to get your good mix is to heat that material up. Heat will thin it out, make it easier to mix. Heat's not needed in the summer though, right? Absolutely yes. is, always. Do we have a heating device? It's it's a, it's a, well, the, uh, the hose is heated. There are two built-in heaters. And if you spray in cold weather, I would get some heat bands. To go around the, around the drums. Wrap around the drums. Put two on that one. You have the one on this one. What's that? Do you have them or no two? Granger's got them. I've seen them in yeah. there. They've actually got the. Yeah. They've got heat blankets. You can wrap yeah. the whole drum. Right. Right. And they work. Yeah. They work well. Even in Florida, you would heat this. In Florida, I probably wouldn't do the drums, but I would turn a hose heat on. Okay. So it'll come on automatically and turn off automatically. Good. When it's okay. not needed. It'll turn off. Yeah. That, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, at the end of the night, like I was saying, you want to pull this cap off, pull these out, little flathead screwdriver, spray them down, inspect the mixing chamber inside, see how it looks. You can spray it in there. If everything looks clean, put it back together again. Are you supposed to just shoot just air or something out of it? Just to um, the air will come out automatically. You'll see it when we spray. I mean, just air, just to flush everything out. Well, um, about the end of the night, there's a grease gun. There's a grease gun, right? This piece just screws on to the end of the mixing chamber. It's called an air cap. There should be a grease fitting on here, right there. On the the question on the air is, is that, that these grease guns fittings right here on this one are made right underneath to that, that cap. Run the material. Oh, okay. You take that and cap off. Last. Even when you're triggering, it, but at the last, give you the release wrench. the trigger. Yeah. See this? Yeah. It also at okay. that same time releases air. Oh, that's where you it up. Trees will come pop So what it's air. doing it's the automatic. It cleans it in there as, it, as you turn it off. <clears throat> Is that correct? And how I'm What's saying that? It? It, the air actually, as you're triggering, you're running your material. But when you release, it actually hits air out yes. to clean the gun. That's basically what's happening. So you don't have to purge the with air again, like just to keep it clean, like a. You'll see it when we spray. Chip. Just yes. show Mike where that grease fitting is underneath there. You'll get a little grease gun that I've got in there, and you'll pump grease in there every night to make sure the grease comes out the end. It's supposed to spray out of this axe. Well, it's not going to spray out. It's just going to ooze out. It's going to ooze out. Okay. It's this just grease. After you've cleaned it, you're just going to pump that, some that, grease. That video did say it should spray out. That's why I'm asking. Well, it'll spray out when you go to use it the next morning. Right. I thought it Is that what it said in the video? Mm -hmm. When, let me ask you something else. Yep. You said we're part A, you're going to use quicker. When we get done and there's still something left in part B, do you just get rid of both drums and start again? or? Yeah, you want to switch both drums at the same time. Okay. Okay. There's a counter on this. So many clicks per drums, per set of drums. I don't know exactly what it might be, 350? A 55 gallon drum, you might get 4,000. But, but you'll probably have a little more. A will probably be empty. B will no, probably. No, you, you don't ever want to run out. Okay, so it's going to stop you before you run out. The machine no, is? you got to keep an eye on it. Okay, so you guys know how to keep an eye on it before you run out? Well, yeah. We haven't done anything with this machine yet. So right. Oh. <laughs> well, you're jumping a gun, but I, we'll, we'll cover that. Okay. Yeah. These blocks, your hoses get connected on these blocks, one of these fittings. These are valves before you spray. Open them up. All the way. Alright, okay. Just keep this in your pocket. If you go take break, close them up. Now if we take break and put them closed, they're gonna get all gummed up and No, if everything's been working right, the air purge will clean that mixing chamber, it'll clean the tip out. So we'll come back, fine. open them up, we're ready to go. Yes. Okay. So, but that is the shutdown procedure, even for lunch or whatever. Right. You turn them things closed. Right. And you got to reopen them after. after, after if you set the gun down for five minutes, you're okay. Do okay. you need to grease it for breaks? No. Okay. Just just at the end of the night. Right. Ron, do we have? Does this thing come with the set, like nut drivers or anything? Right there. What do you use? It's going to stay with the machine. Yeah. Right. I got a box that the gun's going to be in. You're going to have an extra gun with you in your truck. Right. Okay. You're going to get two of those nut drivers. One will be up on the roof with you and the other one will be down on the ground in that box.